Today is December 12th, day 12 of our Christmas Advent countdown. Let's begin once again by opening our big gift box, finding out what we have today. You could probably guess today we have this cross, and you could probably guess how this relates to our passage, but we will be reading from the Old Testament. So let's turn our Bibles to Isaiah 53, verses 1 through 6. Please pause and take time to read this passage on your own or follow along in your own Bibles as I read out loud. Who has believed our message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we consider him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions, he was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all like sheep have gone astray, each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Okay, based on our reading, we are going to answer a couple of questions to see if you can observe and find the answers in our reading. Number one. What are four things to learn about Jesus from these verses? And you can find these in verses two to four. Number two, why was Jesus pierced and crushed? Based on verse five. King Jesus was really coming, but God's picture of a king is so different than what we imagine. Other kings have big houses, beautiful jewels, lots of money, and the praises of people. And most kings want to be served, but King Jesus left behind the joys of heaven and the praises of angels to come and die for us. People rejected him and beat him. Jesus allowed the enemy to kill him, but this was actually part of God's rescue plan. You may wonder, did Jesus really have to die? The truth is the whole world broke when Adam and Eve listened to the serpent and sinned. Only Jesus could crush the serpent and destroy evil and death. Through his death, Jesus broke Satan's power over us. Christmas tells us that Jesus was born to die for us. The Bible says since the children have flesh and blood, he too shared in their humanity so that by his death, he might break the power of him who holds the power of death, that is the devil. This comes from Hebrews 2 verse 14. Jesus died to set us free. Let's think about what we just read and what we discussed, and let's take some time to reflect on some questions and try to think and write down how God speaks to you through these questions, right? Question number one, when Jesus died, it seemed that Satan had won. Why was it God's plan for Jesus to die? Number two, how is Jesus different from other kings? Number three, why did Jesus have to die? Let's pray together. Father God, we thank you so much that you love us so much. We see how different your kingdom is compared to the world. 
and we realize that you came to this world in the humblest of ways you suffered on the cross so that we can be set free and we are so grateful for that lord so we pray that as we celebrate your birth we will remember why you came lord that you came to this world you gave up heaven to come to this world for us lord we thank you so much in jesus name we pray amen all right boys and girls now it's time for our random acts of kindness countdown and so let's take out our calendar and today you are going to donate books to the library try to see if your library needs any books and try to donate the books that you have make sure they are in good condition um, and see if um, you could donate to the library or if there's anybody that could use some books or you could try to find different ways to donate all right, so I hope you have a good time with this and try your best to share the love of Christ with those around you. All right, have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.